Hey guys, what is up? Carter here. Well, it is time to take a closer look at the Mini Onslaught. This here is the <clears throat> limited edition carbon fiber handle, blacked out blade, 82 of 500. Uh, came out this year, they also did the satin blade version. I believe it's 500 of each, if I'm not mistaken, could be wrong. There's also the regular run of this knife, both in satin and black with G10 scales instead. And I believe it's got a satin clip, if I'm not mistaken. The blacked out version may have a totally black clip. Uh, some of this may be a little redundant for my first look video. You know, I apologize for that. I can't really remember everything I talked about in that video, but uh, hopefully it's not too annoying. Let's take a look at specs on this. First of all, obviously it's a mini onslaught. So there is the full size virgin, 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 full size version of this. It's got a four inch blade. I've owned it in the past and I gotta say, I wasn't the biggest fan of the original or the full size onslaught, but I love this mini. Um, it just works so well. And a lot of the critiques I had on the full size version doesn't really hold over to the smaller size version. So um, I, I love this thing. I love, love this thing. I've been carrying it around for a couple days. I actually ordered another one. Ugh, I know I hate that. I, I still get that urge, guys. I still get that urge when there's a knife that I really like. I want to order two, one to baby and one to use. <laughs> I've been trying to break that habit because it's a uh, pretty dumb habit. Anyways, uh, let's look at some specs here. So we've got about a three and a half inch blade, overall length, eight inches. Man, what a good size. What a good size. In my first look video, I mentioned that I thought my hands were a little too big for it, possibly. No, this thing it feels so comfortable now. It just feels so freaking comfortable. I love this blade, absolutely love it. And I'll say one thing, if you are a fan of the Paramilitary 2, I think you are going to be a fan of this blade. This is kind of a more refined Paramilitary 2, in my opinion. Uh, they both feature a lot of the same characteristics, kind of a, a thinner slicer style blade, this one being more so. Um, you know, roughly the same size, both very lightweight, both feature kind of a unique locking system. I mean, the axis lock isn't unique to Benchmade, but it's kind of, you know, it's unique to the knife world. Um, both kind of tactical applications, but both just work really well as EDC knives, general use knives. Both made in the U.S., high quality materials. This one just has a little more refinement to it, a little extra details. Um, mainly being the contoured handles. And this holds over for the regular version too, because literally the only difference is this is carbon fiber. Everything else is the same. Uh, there's no other additional, I mean, the anodized spacers, but uh, that's just, you know, color. Everything else is the same. So this would just be textured G10 on the regular version. Um, contoured handles, it's got these nice little pieces there that add grip. Reverse grip on this is excellent. D2 steel. You can see uh, Bob Lum, he designed this knife. You can see his logo right there. Benchmade Butterfly. But yeah, just a, a sweet, sweet blade. Look how thin that is. So definitely not a hard use in terms of being able to do any sort of prying like that. This is a slicer. This is meant for cutting tasks and that's it. And in that capacity, this does extremely well Nice skeletonized liner, keep the uh, the weight down, you can see in there. Axis lock, I'm starting to come around, guys. I'm really starting to like this axis lock. After my test I did on the Ganzo, it's obviously an extremely, extremely strong lock. It makes for a very smooth knife. This is really smooth. I think uh, mine's Mirror, he put up his video on uh, his Mini Onslaught the day I got mine. Um, I, it, at the shooting of this, I still haven't put up my original video yet. But uh, he said his wasn't all that smooth. Mine is insanely buttery smooth. Just, I mean, you can see how it just drops down. And this is a light blade too. Very light. And see it just, just nice and smooth. And yet it's rock solid. No play. Very, very nice. So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this up. And more so, 
if you can pick up the special edition, it's it's just a winner. This is literally like 10 bucks more than the regular edition. And you get this beautiful carbon fiber, nice anodized spacers, and of course if you're into the limited edition stuff, you get that too. But even aside from that, I mean this is just a handsome knife. Just looks good. Feels good. And I have no doubt that this is going to perform just excellently in an EDC fashion. It has for me so far. Uh, but like I did mention, I mean, if you're, if you're the kind of guy that wants a really thick blade for some uh, heavy duty tasks, you know, obviously this isn't for you. You can see how thin that blade is. This is uh, a slicer. I mean, that's what this is for. This is meant for cutting and it'll do that well. Um, so if that's kind of what you're looking for, lightweight, good looking, easy to carry, slicing EDC knife, you got it right here. Mini onslaught. Absolutely love this thing. Absolutely love it. Look at that. Spider flick. Uh, tip down, right hand carry only. So that may be a little bit of a bummer for some. Uh, not too many people prefer tip down carry, but you know I know there's a few out there. But for you lefties, not gonna work, which is funny because aside from the pocket clip, this is a completely ambidextrous knife. It has the cutout on both sides, and the access lock, of course, is completely ambidextrous. So everything's ambidextrous except that it needs to be carried on the right side. So uh, for those lefties out there that like to carry right-handed, or maybe they carry their primary blade on their left side and like to carry a smaller, lighter weight blade on their right-hand side, perfect, because it is ambidextrous. Uh, it's just the the clip that's keeping it from being really, truly ambidextrous. So yeah, I'm gonna keep carrying this thing. Um, you know, it just works well. It's just a general good looking knife. You can take this out and show it to people and they're gonna be impressed that carbon fiber is really good stuff. I mean, this is some really nice carbon fiber. And when you contour it like that, it just makes it scream. You know, because no matter how you look at it, at least some of it is gonna be catching the light and kind of looking all sexy like that. All right, guys, so that's it. Just kind of a, a little bit of a review. I'm, I'm not going to get all crazy into applications and things like that. I mean, it's, it's a lightweight slicer folding knife, and it does that very, very well. And it looks really nice, too. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good day. I will catch you later.